Hi, I would like to share my experience of transitioning from traditional face-to-face -face instruction to a system of remote learning. So here is a quick look at the comparison of elements of traditional classroom versus the tools and strategies used to achieve the same in an online setting. The tools primarily used were Canvas, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, Canvas Conferences, Messages and Discussion Boards, and Proctor and Non-Proctor Class Canvas Assignments. So I'll explore these with you in the next couple of minutes. So I would like to give a brief overview of the features that I focused on. So here is the home page for the course. This is a face-to-face -face version. The basic information required for the course was right here. So students can't miss it when it is there in front of them on the front page. So under files, the students can find all the relevant resources, including lectures. After the spring break of 2020, the course structure needed modifications. The syllabus was modified accordingly and the students were informed to look at the new syllabus. And now they had to go to modules. According to new structure, we were going to release one new module every week. So we started with the introductory module with a description in the title itself. It helped since it was a new beginning for online education for many of them. Several clearly written Canvas pages were created to make the navigation easy and they were included in the introductory module. So let's quickly browse through them. So what to expect in every week? So no surprises, they know the agenda for every module. So next we go to how to attend the online sessions. The step-by-step -step information was included over here so the students could easily join the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra sessions. Next, how to meet the instructor for one-on-one -on -one office hours and also classmates for Canvas conferences using the big blue button. So we can click on the conferences and create a meeting and send the invitation. It's very straightforward. So next is about office hours just to make sure that they have all the information needed. This is to reiterate the information. They also need to know what about the exams, how different the pattern is going to be from face-to-face -face version and also about the continuation of the regular quizzes, all of which was through Canvas quizzes. So the information was included over here. Then the student support information all in one place. So it was quite conveniently accessible for students. And then I add included additional help from USF especially during the time of Corona, this was quite handy for the students. So adding these pages was important because these students could find everything in one place in this new setting. Now let's go to the modules. So here the brief description of raise your hand discussion board. So they could ask questions or comment. Then we have what to you have in the module for that given week, the list of topics. Then we have reading assignment. And then we have the instructor resources. So basic discussion lecture notes and the videos. And then we have the tab for Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. We'll talk about it in a minute. Then we have the information about quizzes based on the topics covered already in that module. Last, we have just to show you that we have the module for exams and then also to reiterate the importance of announcements. More critical for remote, remote learning since it helps the students to stay connected. So frequent reminders and notices help them to stay on track all the time. So you see how many reminders I had to send about the final exam, but it worked. Now I'd like to focus a little bit more on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. If you go on the hamburger menu on the left, you will find sessions and recordings. Go to sessions, you will see all the past and upcoming sessions. Then you can go to recordings and you will see that you can view the recordings of all the concluded meetings. You can choose a time period and look at all the lessons uh, that we are, we, inter we are interested in. Now create a session, say SOS, 
and then go to settings and we allow the download then choose the time and then you can open the classroom say 30 minutes or one hour before the class meeting students can assemble start chatting just like regular classroom join the session so what do you what can you do using this tool so on the bottom you will see the hand raise symbol it will tell you if someone has raised a hand to speak oh it looks like i forgot to turn on the microphone the microphone should be on for the regular meetings on the right you will see list of attendees and chat messages you can start recording anytime and you can pause it too then usually i use whiteboard and share file features so you can Start using whiteboard, you'll pick up a pencil and start writing. For example, here's a free body diagram, write or draw anything. Very convenient with Apple Pencil and iPad. I love the convenience. You can upload a file also and you can share the file, the presentation, or you can just share the list of problems. So I'm going to show you how that works. So we are uploading a file over here and now sharing it. So while doing this, keep watching the hand raise symbol. If anyone needs to talk, you can ask them to say. Students ask questions and discuss just like a regular classroom. We can get input from the students and solve problems, work with them. Post the question and say or draw uh, like figures, free, uh, free body diagrams, anything. It's very useful tool. And while doing this, Keep watching if someone wants to speak. You can also check the chat messages and keep track of the questions that are being asked. You can also have a proctor, keep track of that. So now here, for example, you can draw a line, say, from the center of gravity and then find a perpendicular distance between the pivot point and the line of force. And then you will see that it is 0.45 meters. You can show it. We can have interactive discussions all the time. So we can stop the recording anytime and it will be made available on Canvas as we have seen previously. So you can leave the session anytime you, when you are done. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra is a very powerful tool uh, for large classes as well as small classes. And I really loved it. Now you'll see you will you are going you are back in the front page and you will see that you still have the session in progress so you can hop right back in no problem straight a very very fairly straightforward process so i personally found it efficient and very useful for interactive discussions and problem solving so in a nutshell the goal was to retain the spirit of in person classroom in an online setting and provide encouraging environment for learning and assuring the presence of instructor and peers for interaction. I feel, you see, especially for on online transition classes, when the students have not signed up for online education because they were uncomfortable with it to begin with. So helping them to navigate properly is critical. So assurance from instructor and uh, clear instructions and for the structure modules are quite important and critical for successful transition. So what worked particularly well? So synchronous interactive class meetings using Blackboard Collaborate Ultra was great. The recording stayed on Canvas, which was a helpful feature for students for reviewing material. So one-on-one -on -one flexible office hours using Canvas conferences was extremely important too. The discussion boards in every module offered a good platform for all kinds of questions and comments, especially since they were not graded. Students felt presence of instructor through synchronous class meetings, conferences, more frequent and more elaborate Canvas messages and emails. So evaluation through Canvas quizzes worked well, especially since quizzes allowed several kinds of questions. So few things that somewhat were disappointing, could not read students' faces like we do in classroom setting and had to rely on their signals such as hand raising or happy sad faces. They had to be proactive in seeking help via chats, emails, messages or talking to classmates. Even to know what it is that they haven't understood, they needed to work more on it. Not all of them were committed to that. 
students were required to watch video simulations before uh, the class for discussions but fewer students stayed on top of the pre meeting preparation seriously miss classroom demonstrations and spontaneous discussions stemming from them although rarely poor wifi connection was an issue and students had to rely on phones constructive comments from students were encouraging 